like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Help promote and rank up my channel. So this movie I wanted to review a few days ago, I watched it. And then I just got so out of my mind, sick, fever, dreams galore, that I couldn't do it until now. So Samaritan, starring Sylvester Stallone, a superhero story outside of Marvel, outside of DC. It, it's different enough to be its own thing. And Sylvester Stallone easily elevates any film he's in automatically with star power. He plays a character of a few words, but conveys a lot through his expressions. Story goes 20 years ago, Samaritan and Nemesis, two rival superpowered beings, died in a fiery explosion until present day our child lead Sam begins to believe he's found Samaritan, the city's former hero hiding in plain sight, his neighbor in their run-down neighborhood, taking place in a dark, gritty, made-up, not too dissimilar to Gotham City, a trashy crime-filled, poverty-rising, hopeless place in desperate need of a hero. It's, it's not the MCU, the boys, or even the DCEU, it in the direction the DCU is going now. It's more grounded and it's not leaning so much into comedy. It's not leaning into comedy really hardly at all in this film. And that's nice because a lot of the superhero stuff just, it's just going too hard into comedy. It has its own intriguing mythology and poses some Really intriguing questions about people, how, how they perceive these two superpowered beings, these characters, one being a hero and one being a villain, but through their eyes, which one's really the hero, which one's really the villain, all about individual perspective. It, that's really interesting. Unfortunately, they don't do a lot with that. There's some solid action in the third act, but the film isn't willing to go Punisher enough. It isn't willing, uh, willing to go hard enough on that action. Uh, there's some obvious plot twist, but if it's not obvious to you, then this could really make this film have a much greater payoff. This film has a lot going for it with these questions raised, these concepts, they never fleshed out. Had it not kept everything as a, a tease, a mystery, until it was too late, and instead explored it with some depth, instead of keeping it all surface level, it would have been a great character uh, superhero exploration. It could have been an absolutely amazing one. Now it's just a missed opportunity. A really, really unfortunate missed opportunity. In a time over saturated with superhero stuff, this one really had something here that could have made it stand out from the pack. The film also feels totally disjointed from its lighthearted child led perspective to its F bomb dropping CD underbelly elements with an increased homelessness, poverty, crime narrative. The action feels restrained from blood and brutality that it should have no doubt embraced. Again, Punisher comes to mind. This, especially with the guy like Sylvester Stallone, go, go all in on that Punisher style stuff. Just go all in. Ellen Cyrus, the film's villain, at least I think that's what his name was. That's how uninteresting he was. I, I don't, I'm not even sure if that was his name. But the main villain of the film, he has vague motivations, a lack of depth, takes up a lot of screen time, and manages to be one of the film's least interesting characters. In the third act, there's a giant fire nobody's struggling to breathe in of course obvious green screen stuff going on there's also a momentarily bad dh character in a moment it's just a moment uh, not that big of a deal that's more of a nitpick 
there's a lot of stuff, though, that could have been cut, that should have been cut, to explore other characters and elements more in depth. Things that uh, the other superhero films don't have that this one had. You should have leaned into all those intriguing things you raised. All those questions. All those elements. That's what would have made this film truly unique and awesome. But ultimately, overall, I would say this film's a 6 out of 10. It's likable. It's likable. It's some great concepts. Just a failure in execution to really flesh out a lot of the more interesting things. And instead, it, it sticks with the most generic stuff, focuses on... This should have been better. 6 out of 10, though. It's likable. I'll give it that. And there's a lot here going for it that sadly will never really be explored or fleshed out the way it should have. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Stay awesome. Rock on.